So here's Deborah with her traditional French plate of fish and chips. Where are we now, boys? Ah, uh, beautiful river. The obligatory photo shoot. So now we're heading down the beautiful old cobbled streets. Choo choo! It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. So we're going through kind of like a maze of cobbled streets. Honey, how is supermarket shopping in France compared to Germany? Here we are for a late breakfast in Strasbourg in a little cafe not far from the cathedral in the center of the ville town. Beautiful surroundings. Hopefully the food's good. Hello, the kids. Get in ready. Some manger. Cool. Deborah remembering her old French. Je parle petit pas français. Luckily it's in German too, so she's good. Because we're very close to the German border, so everything is in French and German, rather than French and English, which we often find. Les enfants. Chilling. Discussing European politics as we're in the city of the European Parliament. Surely every kid in the world likes creme brulee. We're now gonna find out. This is the first time Kian is having creme brulee. And Emily will not remember ever having creme brulee. Michael will have had, but does he remember? Do you like it? No! What? Really? What about Michael? Michael was born in France, so surely he likes the signature dish. Oh, he does. The signature dish of France. Desserts, anyway. Creme brulee. Cafe, called Bye Bye Fama. And Cafe Aussi, for Madame Bye Bye Fatman, aka is aka Debra. Debra. Oh, it's all kicking off here. Oh. We have an incident, we have a diplomatic incident in the city where European Parliament is based. Oh my words, we need mediators. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Emily, what are you doing? That's a sugar. That's a sugar. Sucre. And a beautiful place for people watching here. Just by the river. And beautiful structure. We came here at Christmas at a Christmas market on the day of the World Cup final. And it was about minus 20. And we didn't enjoy ourselves. So we thought, let's come back to Strasbourg and see if we can appreciate this magnificent city a little bit more this time. So here's Deborah with her traditional French plate of fish and chips. <laughs> when in France, eat as the French. How's the creme brulee, darling? Are you happy your children didn't eat their creme brulee? 
Bit of a bonus for mummy. Where are we now, boys? Banana! You didn't want to eat French food, eh? You're eating this nonsense instead, eh? <laughs> Why don't you put it on the table? I'm not just two. These are useless, sis. Ah, uh, beautiful river. Here they are, us as tourists in the beautiful city of Strasbourg. The obligatory photo shoot for Deborah, Michael on duty. There's a restaurant we had lunch with the red side. Just by the river. Heading on to the main city centre in Strasbourg. Kids and Michael and Deborah are still on photo duty. She's now reviewing the photos for the quality. They have failed. So now we're heading down the beautiful old cobbled streets, lovely old French architecture, heading towards Petit France to see some of the finest buildings in Strasbourg. Lovely little area, lots of little boutique shops, a few cafes, restaurants. It's a nice refreshing change to being back in England where you'd be looking at betting shops, gambling halls, and uh, charity shops. Cute little salon de thé. Yes. Beautiful part of Strasbourg. You were grumpy with me once. You were grumpy with me, darling. Is that possible? Look at this beautiful. Houses that have been preserved above the modern. Oh. Choo choo! He's letting us pass. Uh, we can film them filming us. It's kind of ironic. Yes. <laughs> I don't think you can buy the whole. No, but it's like a tour. And we hate walking. We'll see. Do you want to go to the Louvre? Yeah, An hour and a half of Petit France, just on the bridge over the canal. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. Yeah, this view could even be better than the previous one. It's just incredible. It's just such a beautiful place. Yeah. Didn't even know it was part of Strasbourg until today. Good place for uh, busking as well. It's pretty good to be fair. 
See that behind me? Give it a little song and dance. Or no dance, but you see it. So we're going through kind of like a maze of cobbled streets, crossing over the river at various places. Here we have another part of the river. Kids there observing. Michael, what are these what are these locks for? Guys, why have people put the locks? Oh it's for love, yeah? Michael, do you wanna write one for your girlfriend? Emily, you want to do for your boyfriend? No, I don't have Emily Michael for your boyfriend? Your girlfriend, whichever. Kian? For that girl you were kissing at school? Now it appears we're found somewhere where I won't be able to film because it's a children's playground, but somewhere the kids will be happy. So I don't think there'll be a lot of footage there because obviously filming other people's children isn't something which I wish to do. So just pausing the video now. So the bridge open and closes to let the little boat cruises through. Fascinating. What's this? A movie theater? Yeah. You're in the cinema. So it's not a hotel. I know Cafe. I I know. You know. So we just stopped in this nice little clap clap cafe. I guess you stand back and then stand again. It's very nice, no, no one's really here, just a couple of people. But very pleasant little place. Hotel as well, bar and uh, stuff at the back. And then, uh, yeah, just out where the tram stops. A few drug dealers there though. It was interesting because they're watching the drug dealers from out the window and I'm sure that you can't see in, but they... Uh. Ah, the central stadium, the Gar in Strasbourg is quite an impressive piece of work. Huge dome, almost looks like a football stadium. We're special. For some reason, and only to my wife, we've come to check out the railway station. Yeah, it's interesting, no? Interesting. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of some of the Parisian guards. I guess the kids are excited to be in the railway station. for all the places we could go. Where do you want to go then, love? Uh, Paris. We could go to Frankfurt. We close to home. Honey. How is supermarket shopping in France compared to Germany? You're enjoying. Brings back the old days. Perfect. Yeah. Is, is it better than Tesco's? <laughs> so this is Monoprix which is one of the largest supermarket chains in France. And we're just in one in Strasbourg. 
It's not one of the big hypermarket types, but it is a fairly decent size. Well stocked. Except the bread, because obviously people buy the bread very quickly. It is the national food after all. Deborah does tend to get carried away in supermarkets anyway. But especially now we're back in France. This rare opportunity for her to buy many of the things that we used to buy in our old lives when we lived in Paris. You can see the excitement on her face as she looks at desserts, probably hunting out a creme brulee. So apparently we didn't get everything we needed in one of Paris, and now we're in character. For the Scogo. We struggled to find Les Gogo previously. We don't need the puncture, I don't think. Obviously, Les Gogo is not in this aisle. But yeah, this is just a small kind of small town car for so much more of the basics. No, it wasn't as big as that monoprix we were in earlier. place to live, eh?
Kern, Professor Bernstein.